I love snow globes in winter. Have you ever seen one of these things? You dump it upside down, and then you can watch the snow flurry inside. What else have you seen inside of snow globes? Snow globes sometimes have a whole landscape inside, like an entire city was shrunken down. It's usually a beautiful wintry scene that we can escape to if we gaze into the globe. Snow globes were actually invented accidentally by this man's great-grandfather when he was trying to create a better light bulb for doctors to use. He put water inside of a globe and semolina, which was like a cereal at the time, and then watched how it looked like snow. They decided to patent the snow globe and create beautiful globes for people to purchase for about a hundred years. Of course, companies have figured out a way to mass produce them inexpensively, and so you'll see them at a lot of gift shops. And professional artists and designers make snow globes as well. This one has a message. This is Walter Martin and Paloma Munoz. They create really unusual snow globes for their art practice. They want each globe to tell a story. You might go to a gallery and see several little unusual vignettes like this one. What's happening in this image? Wait, does that guy at the bottom have a removable head? So you can create your own snow globe, whether it has a picture of perfect winter beauty or something a little bit more mysterious or unusual. Artists love to draw snow globes. It can be a real scene or memory from your life or an alternate reality. They have a good way of making them look very round, and even shiny like glass. Because we'll be drawing a sphere or a globe, you can start with a round object to hold down and trace, or you can just hand draw a circle. It's good to practice circles. From the bottom of your globe will come two lines to show the sides of the base. I make them equal and opposite to each other in length. And then from the bottom of that, I'll do a little foreshortened curve to show that it's a round base. Inside, you can decide where you want your pile of snow or glitter to be. I'm going to make some snow people in my snow globe. And for that, I start with the head circle and then I tuck another circle below that and then I tuck another circle below that. I'm deciding where I want to have a second snow person and I finished off with a third. Then I can add my snow people parts, button eyes, mouth. Carrot noses, maybe branches for arms. And of course some people put a hat right on top of their snow people and a scarf. So in a snow globe, it's nice sometimes to have something tall in the background. Some nice tall trees fill the space. You can make these a triangle or a shaggy triangle. So next comes color. You might notice when you're in the snow that the shadows seem blue. I'm adding a curved blue shadow to the bottom of each sphere of my snow people. I'm also going to add some to the bottom of my snow drift. Here's another snow globe I was working on to show how I'm using blue around the inside of the glass to make it look like a clear glass round globe. A white oil pastel is great for adding snow on top of the objects inside of your globe. It really makes them look like they're in there. If you have glue and glitter, you can try adding spots of glitter to your globe. I sprinkled glitter on top of my wet glue, shook it around, and then shook the excess off my paper. 
using a white oil pastel to show a shine on the curve of my globe. It goes right in front of the whole scene. You can also cut out your drawing of a snow globe and put it on something like a cardboard tube. I'm gonna hold and press that for a while and then try and stand it up on my shelf. Alternately, you could build a snow globe. I used the back of a post-it, trimmed it to size, and then drew a scene on my post-it. I can even trade them out when I do it this way. Sticking it onto the back of a clean jar, and then I can add liquid and little bits of plastic I found from an envelope to make it look like a snow globe. This awesome silvery stuff came from an envelope. You might have a white plastic envelope or something else, like a ribbon around your house. Beautiful. Have fun making a snow globe.